major step in protecting children in this pandemic. Pfizer today officially requesting emergency authorization for its vaccine for children 5 to 11 years old. Tonight, what the company is now saying, what they found in the data, what they're saying about side effects as well, and what's the timeline. This could be very soon. Pfizer, the first to make its case to the FDA for 5 to 11 year olds, and this would be one third the adult dose given twice, three weeks apart. 28 million children could soon be eligible. What President Biden said today about the vaccines in Chicago and tonight with the CDC director, Dr. Rochelle Walensky, is now saying about the flu shot as well and how soon you should get it. ABC's Ariel Reshef leading us off tonight. Three. Tonight, four, a critical step five, on the road to vaccinating five, younger children. Pfizer asking for emergency authorization for 5 to 11 year olds after reporting the shots were safe and generated a robust antibody response with one third of the adult dose. Immune response or protection that you get from the vaccine uh, appears to be just as good as it is in adolescents and young adults. Side effects similar to like fever, headache and sore arm. All eyes now on an FDA panel, which will review the data on October 26th. And within days, the CDC could sign off on the vaccine for 28 million more children. After everything is reviewed and it looks good, I, I'm hopeful that we'll see something in, in November. Nine-year-old Luke Moore wanted to join the Pfizer trial after his parents and friends volunteered. Honestly, I, I'm, I don't really think it's going gonna, it's gonna to be like dangerous. Like, and also, I feel good about it. For many parents, the vaccine can't come soon enough. Nearly 5.9 million kids have been infected with COVID. Now, a new study looks at the heavy burden many children are also facing. An estimated 140,000 have lost a parent or caregiver to the virus. Families of color hit hardest. In Pennsylvania, 30-year-old Alan Brown left behind a wife and four children. I'm 30 years old and I'm a widow. You don't hear that. Alan's family says he changed his mind about the vaccine, but it was too late. They want others to get vaccinated. Particularly in the African-American community who are not listening and don't believe that this is real. This is real. My grandchildren lost their father. This is real. But tonight, the CDC is warning of the potential for severe flu this season. Americans have little immunity after very few cases last year. Get a COVID-19 vaccine as soon as you can, and ideally get a flu vaccine by the end of October. Flu and COVID-19 vaccines can be given at the same visit. And late today in Chicago, the president making the case vaccine mandates are working. My message is require your employees to get vaccinated. With vaccinations, we're going to beat this pandemic finally. <laughs> Without them, we face endless months of chaos in our hospitals, damage to our economy, and anxiety in our schools. The president there today in Chicago. Ariel, back with us tonight. And Ariel, we know authorization for this Pfizer vaccine for children 5 to 11 uh, could come soon after that key FDA meeting, which is about three weeks from tonight. Once the green light is given, which is expected, how soon then does all of this roll out? Well, David, just like for adults, those younger children will need two shots three weeks apart, and then it takes another two weeks for them to be considered fully vaccinated. So likely this age group won't be fully vaccinated until after Thanksgiving at the earliest. David. All right, Ariel Reshef leading us off tonight. Ariel, thank you. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.